What's good everybody, this is Demiro Beats here with a new tutorial for you in 2024. It has been some time, man. Um, the reasoning for that, quick little backstory is I just, uh, I was focused on the industry for a while, you know, like the major placement industry, working with major artists, had a lot of success in it, reached all my goals. You know, this isn't like a bragging type of thing or nothing, this is just telling you what happened. Um, you know, I hit all my goals, it was great. Uh, but in the meantime of doing all that, I decided to stop uploading stuff online. Um, I would do st like uploads here and there, a few beats here and there, but mainly I was, I would say 99% entrenched and focused a on um, working with major A-list artists and, you know, sync companies, whatever. <clears throat> so after I ended up doing that, um, it felt great. But then I realized I kind of lost something in in the process, which was all of you guys. Um, you know, I I know 7,000 followers on YouTube and stuff doesn't seem like a lot to some of these people. But to me, it's a lot. 7,000 people is a lot. Um, and you guys always showed me love and support on everything I put up. And I appreciate that. And I just want you guys to know that from here on out, I'm officially back online uploading beats regularly and we'll be uploading content regularly um i have a set schedule so every monday wednesday and friday i'm going to be uploading new beats and content so that could be tutorials beats are for sure those will be uploaded but tutorials probably once a week ish um completely depending on what you guys want to know on how to do because uh, i'm not really too good at guessing I know a lot about FL Studio and how to produce and mix. So anything you guys want to learn on here, that is pretty simple. Well, I wouldn't even say pretty simple, but anything you guys want to learn in general, just um, you know, follow me on Instagram and everywhere at this is the bureau, and shoot me a message or you know leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys want to see. I would love to be able to give you guys some valid information and some knowledge and be able to help you guys become better producers as well um, so you guys can reach your goals okay so um, last little note before I get into this is I'm not gonna be one of these guys on YouTube that spend 30 minutes uh, teaching one small little task I like to teach the way I like to learn which is if I'm going on YouTube or if I'm learning something I want somebody to be very you know short and concise and to the point i don't want you to beat around the bush i have add myself i don't know about you guys but you know most i think musicians probably do have some form of that so learning is not the easiest for us people um so i understand that and i want to be able to teach you guys the easiest way to understand things possible so when I say that, I'm not going to be like one of these guys on YouTube that have all these distractions like the screen shaking and all these overlays and captions and just all this unnecessary bullcrap that you don't really need and it's not helping. That's what I mean. I'm going to get straight into it, tell you what you need to know and then sign off and then do it again next time. So hopefully that's what you're looking for is a very short and... Um, to the point answer to your question so you know if that's if that's what you're looking for be sure to like subscribe comment because it really helps me out a lot and makes me want to keep doing this for you guys so uh, without further ado let's go on and get right into it so what we're going to be learning today is how to properly add reverb to things in uh, FL Studio and this doesn't even just apply to FL Studio alone this applies to any DAW possible, okay? FL Studio just has its own little way of doing it. So I know most people use FL, I do. It's a great program, and it's very easy and simple to use for things like this. So let's go ahead and get into this. <clears throat> I made a quick little, just a, a little quick beat to show you guys um, certain things here. So, and here's a vocal too, as well. So here, let me just play it. Don't let me go. If you let me in, don't let me go. 
very simple just a, a quick demonstration so everything's very dry no reverb and we're gonna change that okay so here I have my vocal track I'm gonna start with the vocal let's say I want to make this a very thick luscious reverb on this vocal okay what most of you probably do right now is you have the vocal track highlighted and you're gonna add reverb directly to it right am I right or am I wrong All right if you're doing that, I want you to stop immediately and delete that shit off of your channel right now. Take it off. What you're going to do is instead of dropping reverb on this channel, go ahead, create a new one. Let's name this one Reverb Voke Chain. And then what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to color it so I can easily see it. Green. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to go back to the vocal channel. I'm going to click this little triangle underneath the reverb chain we just made. And then I'm going to, you're going to see it pop up with this like little wheel underneath the triangle. You're going to take that wheel in the center of it and drag it up. Or you can just right click it and hit reset. Probably the easier, easier way is hit reset because that brings you to 100%. Now you're going to ask, why am I doing that? I just basically doubled my vocal. Well, because we're going to add reverb to this channel. And I'll explain why here in a second. So now we've got the reverb loaded in. Now you're saying, Demiro, why the hell, why am I doing this? Well, I'll tell you. The reason you're doing this is because typically if you put vocal, if you put reverb on the vocal channel itself, you're very limited in what you can do with that reverb. Now when you put it to a send, is what they call this, a send or a bus, you can, oh, I've got a burp. Excuse me. I could cut that out of the video, but I'm going to leave it for authenticity. Um, anyways, the reason we're going to send it or create a send or a bus channel is because the flexibility in um, altering this reverb is endless. I mean, you can completely do anything you want now. So if I wanted to filter this reverb and make it just like a low pass kind of filtered out reverb, I'm just going to open up parametric. And then you can see the reverb being active right here. So let's go ahead and roll this down. And I'll just make it like a low pass filter. So now every single time this reverb hits, it's going to be EQ'd and the vocal won't. It's only going to be the EQ, I mean the, the reverb that's going to be EQ'd. And that goes with anything that goes underneath that reverb. It'll be affected directly and only the reverb. Another reason you'd want to do this is because let's say you're, let's say you want to put a very strong reverb on one section of the vocal only. So let's say when she goes, go, that part is going to have reverb and everything else is going to be dry. So let's say, let me in, don't let me go. so when she says go, I want that to be drowned out in reverb and then carry on through the rest of it while this is all dry. How do we do that? Easy. So you're going to click the vocal um, track again, and then we're going to create an automation clip on this little wheel, the little volume wheel. And then we're going to take this all the way down and mute it out until we get to our point. So she says, go right here. I'm going to bring it up here and then I'm going to drop it off after she's done saying that. And you're going to see in a second when I play this, all of this is going to be completely dry and only this is going to be reverbed. So watch. Let me in, don't let me go. Oops, I muted it, sorry. And then I like to do stuff like this when I'm mixing people's vocals. I'll just copy and paste it and make like ad lib if I want. And this is another little trick I like to do. Um, if you listen to my beats a lot, you'll hear me doing this with claps. I think it's a very popular thing. So let's say, where's my clap at? Right here. I want to have this clap be drowned out in reverb at the end of it. So right there, I want that part to be completely slapped in reverb. All right, so what I'm going to do is the same exact thing. I'm going to create this little link right here, create an automation clip, and then make sure this is down. 
and only put it up to where you want it to be affected. So I'm going to have that clap right there. I'm going to drop it off right there. And we're going to see as soon as it hits this bar, that clap is going to be completely obliterated with reverb. And it'll carry on the drive through the rest of it. So the reason for this, you don't have to make separate clap channels or you don't have to make a special reverb clap only channel. You can do this with everything. So I'll typically like, I'll typically have a reverb chain for vocals and then a reverb chain for everything else. So that way, like when I'm ex exporting this for, um, you know, mixing en engineers and everything for like placements or whatever, they can actually get a track that is just reverb. So if I were to if I were to export this right now, only everything in this would be exported. So that means I could essentially take that exported reverb track, drop it in here, and then I could slice it up if I wanted to, you know, like cut it, boom, 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 and stutter your reverb. You can do all sorts of effects with it. You can like reverse it. You can um, you can distort it if you wanted to. You can do pretty much anything you want. So do this instead of dropping it on the main channel because then you're just gonna create more work for yourself later. This is the easiest and honestly the standard way to do it in the industry. A lot of people have send tracks, especially in like Pro Tools and everything. It's very big in that. Um, I haven't really used reverb on a main channel in I don't even know how long. And people always ask me how I get that reverb separation, and that is exactly how I do it. It is a very easy thing to do, but it's very overlooked, and hopefully you won't overlook it anymore after this. Um, and that's it. So let's play it one more time, show you guys. And one little cool thing too is if I were to, let's say, unlink this from the master channel is straight reverb but we're not gonna do that anyways guys i hope you enjoyed um it feels good to be back online i hope you guys received this well and you know if you do enjoy these tutorials please 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 give me a like comment subscribe it keeps me motivated to keep doing this stuff um i really don't ask for much other than just you know support and that's it uh I appreciate all of you guys who've stuck around with me for this long, even though I haven't posted. It really means the world to me, and, you know, this is the mark of a new era for me. I'm coming back in full force, and I'm going to take over. All right? So you're going to be seeing a lot of me, man. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on all social media at this is Demuro, And, you know, let's go. Let's kick it, man. See you guys.